just been dropped off uh, this fella here, this fella here, and I've been warned that this guy here's got a rotten ass. Never, never. Bullshit. <laughs> You're John here? Yeah, I'm John G'day, mate. How you going? Good, thanks. You guys have a good game? Yeah, we <laughs> Could have been better. Well, what happened? You get smashed? Yeah. That's not my team, so <laughs> I'm just filling in. Getting that out there first. <laughs> Do you set any tries up yourself? Oh, no, Lockie only scored the only try, so. Did he? Got the glory. Got the glory. <laughs> he got the glory, and what did you get, Jonty? Nah, just a bit of a smashing, but yeah, it's alright. Did you have good fun? Yeah, it was good fun. Did you have good fun? Yeah. yeah. It's the main yeah, thing, yeah. isn't it? It's gonna be fun. Now winning's neither here nor there really at the end of the day. I mean it's nice to win all the time, but sooner or later you're gonna lose, so you gotta have fun while you're while you're losing, eh? Let's collect Poe out here. There you go, Poe. There you go. Stay here. Put your collar on. Okay, off you go. He's gone. They're onto a pig. Well, Diego's off to the bloody to do his magic. We only just pulled up, didn't we? There's the little dogs out. And what happened, mate? They just got onto a pig just down the gully out to our right here. Yeah, I was just saying to Johnny, we don't catch much up here. And we haven't caught it yet, but uh, we'll wait and see. Fresh dog, so we'll see how it unfolds. What do you reckon, honestly? Too late? Oh, you never know. You don't do your foot. Stranger things have happened. They have, there's no more barking. Stay here. We're just waiting for some action. That's what he's waiting for. He wants to swing off something. You get smoke, boy, did you? Hey? Eh? Where you go, Diego? Where you go? Bob, come. This tip of his tail has just got blood on it. it. Must be so thick where he'd gone through. Good dog. Good try, mate, but uh, that one got, got away. So Pa and Choppy are still tracking, but I think that pig's got away. They hit it, you can hear the Arr! The pigs don't stand around for much around here. I don't think Bob got his teeth into it. He's gonna have a drink. You want a drink, Bob? It's a good way to cool off and hydrate. Have a drink. Got Poe and Choppy up here still tracking. We're hoping the pig's gonna come down. Got the two big boys out. Got some noise up here. Diego's heard it. It's probably smelled us. That was a pig coming down, eh? Could you hear that crunching? They're close to the highway, man. Are they going down this way? Shit. They're close to the highway. That's a dog in a little car there you're hearing. That's that car there. Is it? Yeah. There's a dog in that little car. See, there's the dog in that car. See, there's a dog in the car. See, there's two dogs in that car. Oh, I, I think that's what you were hearing, eh? <laughs> it's a bailiff in the car. 
But you could have been full because it sounded like it, didn't it? Yeah, it sounded like it. Yeah, no, what the status is is now in the 750, they've done a huge circle heading back from where we came from originally. So we're going to jump in the truck, head out of this track, get on the highway, go back up in the, the uh, entrance track we came in the first place where the pig has done a massive circle. I think we can safely assume we're not going to catch that pig, lads. Yeah. We've done a fair bit of running already, though, so good fun, eh? Yeah. Good fun for me trying to... Yeah, me trying to keep up a bloody smash, and he's already played a game of rugby today, and so is Jonty, and I still can't bloody keep up. I was running down the track with me atomizer. Come on. Dog's all back in and stuffed, eh? She got her up there? No, just uh, blackberry scratches. Choppy cum. Choppy cum, boy. Choppy cum. That's where a possum got him last week. He grabbed his first possum, didn't you? Yeah. You're alright, eh? Well, do a lot of running. Bugger all catching. Yeah. Get him a drink. Come on. Good girl, Poe. Good try, but not good enough. Well, after lots of chasing and no catching, we're going to hydrate the dogs here because they will be thirsty as. Come on. Leave it, Bob. Have a drink. Poe, drink. Drink. Have a drink. Old tail wagon. Poe's always wagging her tail and Choppy's like serious. That mark below his collar is where he got a bore about four weeks ago and it shaved all the hair and a bit of skin off and just take a long time to heal. One feet. Right, we'll carry on down the road and see if the dogs have got enough energy to chase another pig. Chase being the operative word. That's all we're doing today is chasing, not very much catching. You smelly bastard! You dirty, dirty bastard. I didn't mean to, I did it back there. And you brought it back into the truck. Just got in the truck, so nice big deep breath in, and yep. Pete's right, man. <laughs> oh, At least man. I didn't do it in the car. Far out, had you done it in the car, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. What have you been eating? <laughs> I don't know. Smash his mum? What have you been feeding him? Honestly. That is rotten. You bacon yeah, and egg. Bacon and egg pie. It smells like bacon and egg, but the egg was rotten when you ate it. Far out. Choppy and Poe just got on here with a bit of interest. So you can find the mark on the road, boys. Is that it there? Uh, still trained up? Yep. So the status is that uh, Poe and Choppy up. have been tracking this pig for over a kilometre, well over a kilometre, and finally come up tree. You get ready to run out. Still true? 240. Yep. 200. 118. 95. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> Four metres. That's the extent of our bloody pig honey. Oh, far out. Choppy, you're a wanker. We live on a farm over in Marlborough and um, we do a lot of hunting over there and grew up on a farm my whole life and started hunting when I was about four. I started catching a few pigs with dad and my uncles then. Cool. And been hunting ever since. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it's good mm. fun. Get the adrenaline going. Oh, good stuff. Well, your dad's a good bastard because he took uh, Smash out on the weekend when I didn't want to take him out, so...
Yeah, yeah. That's why we're taking you out, sort of returning the favour. We just aren't catching quite as many as you guys did. Yeah, yeah. Do you think my dogs are useless? Nah. You sure? It's pretty hard in this country. Yeah, you're saying all the right stuff, mate. Good for you. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you're going to school over here? Yeah, I'm at boarding school over at the college. So you're away from home for, for the week, are you? Yeah, yeah. How do you find that? Yeah, it's pretty good. Catch up with a lot of people over here, meet new people and stuff. You don't miss your mum and dad? Oh, I did for a bit, but um, now yeah. it's settled in a bit and it's pretty good now. Yeah, it's pretty natural, eh? Mm. Oh, too. Oh, you can come out with us again, because obviously you've done a lot of hunting. I can tell you experience straight away. I'm not yeah. having to tell you to be quiet. You're not slamming the truck door. You're being mindful of when you're walking. That's great for me taking guys like you at that. But no, yeah. and it's because you've got a dad who's taught you, and he's taught yeah. you well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's still plenty of scent around. We'll see if we can chase another pig, because we're not catching any. Yeah. Another good pig mark, eh? And it's on top of this tire mark that's gone through today, so pretty fresh. Bob getting a bit of scent there or something. The rest of the dogs aren't, but Bob's definitely getting scent. So we found this mark on the road and Tim Masabi here. He's been telling me about what it means. So what did it mean that mark? Oh, I just had rounded, rounded off toes, so it's probably an older pig that's been doing a lot of running. And like scrapes off all the toe on their feet and it rounds it off when they do a lot of running and they're older and so they've been worn more. 420. 420. I'm going to keep this guy because he's teaching me stuff. I'm learning so much from him. That's a really, really good point that's made. And uh, that mark of that rounded toe, the dog's actually right now tracking it. And there goes Jonty's rounded toe. It is rounded, he's right. Right through here. That's where a pig's been getting the hoo-hoo grubs out of it. And that wasn't like that a week ago when I was here, so that's just happened last week. Bit of scent up there for Poe, but not enough to make her really go. Scenting. Yeah. Bloody steep for choppy. Could be a pig up there. He's getting up there too. It's a horrible place for a pig to be. He's cut up there too, look at him. You copy smash? Yeah, the pig has moved around towards the side I'm on, so carry on up towards me. I'll keep tracking. They're just tracking, but they've moved quite far over. It's pretty dark, 80 metres. The dogs are pretty tired, but definitely a pig there. They're going to backtrack, they may even cross over. It's pretty dark out there now to see anything. Yeah, it may come out. It may come out and try and cross over the side. You could let him go straight away if it crosses. I reckon it's running down the side here. It's just about come straight back to us, but on a different track. Yeah, that pig's going to try and break down below. They're all together, they're tracking it. Can you hit this on the Yeah, no, that'll be it. That's about right. All three dogs are together. They've just tracked past that point now, so that's be the dogs you're hearing, but that's with it. They're not real flying real fast, though. No. Just tracking. I can get ahead a bit. Got all three dogs together on it. Go, go, go! Got a pig. Good deal, good dogs. Good job getting down there, Jonty. Yeah. And uh, smashed, good job, guys. Jonty, do you want to do the honours on that? 
You know how to do boy? You've probably done a heap, eh? Yeah, done it. Yep. So how old were you when your dad taught you to get your first pig? Uh, I was about eight, nine. Oh, that's a good age. Mm. Bit of fat on that piggy, isn't there? Yeah, it's quite fat. Good nick. Nice tidy job without piercing it too, mate. Well done. You might want to cut that diaphragm, eh? Mm. You're doing pretty well there. It's a sharp knife, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Yep. Those knives are made by a guy called Simon Walker in Auckland. Oh, yeah. And it's a sort of hybrid between a stick knife and a field knife. It's got a drop tip on it so you can do what you've just done there. Yeah, you're making good work of that, boy. It's high carbon steel, keeps a nice sharp edge. We're supposed to be getting some made up, but uh, we've lost some of the stamps to get them printed for the name on them. Got lost in the post. You gonna leave the bum in or are you gonna take it out when you get to the top? I'll take it out when I get to the top. You know what you're doing? Good boy. Well done. Okay, you can give me a knife. You be alright with that by yourself? Yeah. I bet you've carried bigger pigs, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So you're not scared of a bit of blood, eh, son? No. Good boy. It's a bit steep. You gonna be alright? Yep. Awesome job. No chaps on either. No. You must be related to Smash, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> and Poe getting spoils. A bit of heart and a bit of lung. Good girl, Poe. It's her favourite. You're doing a good job there, Jonty. And well, fella. Go to your left, mate. Straight up. Oh, he's on the track. Yep. Nice job, right. Just pop it down there, we'll pick it on the way back up. It's a fat leader. Yeah, it is fat. Yeah, good job, boy. Well done. Yeah, put it there. Well done. Thank you, oh, thank you. We don't catch many pigs in this block here. Up. Good boy. Chop Up. You get him with him. Um, no fighting. Bob, up, up. Go come. Get up. Get in. Okay. Oop. Take two. Oh, it's going to come down on you. Hey, good boy. Well done. Oh, gummy bears. We have to celebrate. Every time we get a pig, mate, we eat either snakes or gummy bears. If we get a boar, we eat snakes, but if we get a sow, it's gummy bears. That's why we always have gummy bears. <laughs> Easy. It's true, though. Oh, yeah. They're made in Germany. Oh. Mm. Come a long way. By Dr. Harry, bro. Oh, good day, good chum. So, uh, John, to you, what was Smash doing all the way down to the pig when you go down the bale? What was happening there? Dropping his guts the whole way down. Farting the whole way. Got to get down there somehow. Just a little quick boost of, you know, speed. Ah, boy. Well, we have a pig in the truck. It's a fatty too. Not a biggie, but a fatty. Dogs went well, but the boys went particularly well. Choppy didn't trial bark at all, was he? Absolutely silent, eh? So that's working out good. And uh, this young fellow, Jonty, I was really impressed. And you know, it really comes down to dads teaching sons. Everything you've talked about, your dad taught you, didn't he? Yeah. 
So dads, get out there and teach your sons. His dad's done an amazing job. You were really uh, on onto it in every way, mate. In fact, I didn't even need to be there. Could just let you two go and sit in the truck and uh, and watch Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I could have tracked them and just sat back, and they would have done it without me because they didn't need me. Really, uh, two good young hunters. Good luck with your own hunting, your own family, your own kids and stuff, and uh, be good. And if you cannot be good, what should they do, Johnny? Be careful. Be careful. See you later. Now I'll tell you what, the pig hunter, he's a different breed. At home, there's hungry mouths to feed. He'd rather get his tucker from the wild terrain than stand in a queue at back and save. He don't care much for keeping his trousers clean. And his pig dogs, they look mean and lean. He carries his kill home on his back. Invariably the blood runs down into his crack Oh you filthy bastard Covered in dirt and mud You smelly bugger Stinking of sweat and blood You manky mongrel Christ, what a state You filthy bastard Hold on, you're me mate. Seldom does he clean his gun, and town ain't his idea of fun. Lucky if he has a wife, cause all his time is dog and knife. He can't drive through the countryside without looking for sign, cause he's always got wild pets on his mind. Prides his dog next to none. There's nothing except radio spectrum Oh, you filthy bastard Covered in dirt and mud You smelly bugger Stinking of sweat and blood You manky mongrel Christ, what a state You filthy bastard Oh, me mate. He'd sell his soul to Satan before he'd share a good block or give up his key to the forestry gate lock. But he'd bust his bollocks to help his mate carry the pork off the hill and back to the gate. Oh, you filthy bastard, covered in dead and mud. You smelly bugger. Thinking of sweat and blood You manky mongrel Christ, what a state You filthy bastard You are my mate You filthy bastard You are my mate You filthy bastard You me, mate.